that money into trading it needs to bring something so i do not i do not rush into making decisions over whether to enter the market or not truth be told mentorship money has also helped me not to make funny decisions into the market because it was it was money that was coming over some time you know you'll find two or three people wanting to join mentorship so i do not make rational decisions of saying i want to enter the market now the most important thing a loss is just an opportunity for you to level up yourself improve psychology improve stra uh, strategy and discipline yes but right now I'm, I'm explaining how the mentorship money had to help me make better decisions in the market so this time i didn't i didn't rush decisions in the market because now i can i can live without trading right that means decisions are not actually taken out of a um, irrational uh thinking right so i became a mentor but if there's one thing that helped me to become a good mentor at some point it is that i wasn't chasing people's money i also offered classes accordingly if i said we are having a class today i came to class unlike now now when we put class sometimes we get low shared hi i'm always in black <laughs> i'm always in black but now what I'm trying to say is that mentorship money also helped me, right? It was a business on the side. It made money for me even when I was I was not trading. Probably maybe I've blown money. Then I sit back, I relax because I've blew a lot of money. I stay back. Even when I'm not trading, that somebody's going to pay for mentorship. Then I know that, okay, some of the percentages they go to Baba Lolo, some of the percentage they, they went to, there was another one called... Um, there was one 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 mentor student mentor that we had we also gave him some of the money and then some of it went to the app so even when i was not trading the app was paid by mentorship money right now let's say i stay about two to three weeks without trading where am i gonna get the money i need a business that's why i, I opened up a business of selling alcohol right now started selling alcohol i know that it's mentorship that's bringing in money it's also business of alcohol that's bringing in money right now there's another business that i'm i have started recently i'm not going to talk about it much but i'm going to wait for it to be very successful and then i'll explain how did i come about starting that business what i'm trying yes tobani what i'm trying to tell you guys is that do not, do not, do not focus on trading alone. Also have businesses that you are putting in place. Otherwise, the market alone, the market alone, no, it's not good. I will save the life. I will save the life. The market alone is not good. Yes, the market will give you guys, if there's something that the market will give you, it's funds to start another business. Even when you're not trading, you know, you know. Because now, when you can make money inside of the market and you, don't, you do not have a place whereby there's money for you to survive even if you're not trading, it affects your psychology. It affects it 110%. And if I don't tell you this, nobody will. You know I love honesty. Honesty is that I've made money with the mentorship. Mentorship money actually woke me up to actually have a business that's going to bring in money. I thought to myself, what if I stop mentorship? Then do I have a business that's going to give in money for me when I don't trade? Then I started off selling alcohol. And then alcohol money brought in money for when I'm not trading. What did you pick up? What did you pick up, Hope? yes thank you thank you sa magazines trading will open doors for you you'll have funding to do what you always wanted to do and when we start being honest about all of these there's just those gossip pages that are going to take one word that you have just said and then they'll be like yeah so uh, she ate mentorship money she did what but mentorship was another way of me bringing in money for when i'm not trading and it taught me that I needed a business for when I'm not trading. And ever since then, I've put systems in place to open up businesses that are going to work for me. 
like i saw that i can't survive on trading alone of course trading can bring in a whole lot of money but let's say trading is not working you're blowing at that moment will you be able guys i stayed away from the market for three months because i was i was going through something remember uh, I'm not engaged anymore. I'm single. So at that moment of me not trading, me going through a lot of emotions, what was going to sustain me from then up until now? Because literally I wasn't trading. I was trading obvious things that I see that, oh, no, this one I can enter here and there. And with that being said, it helped me. My skill got even better. You know, people started talking about me that, Stacy, why are you not making money? That's why I'm like, stay. you know what? If you try to handle things that are on my business and ask me, um, yes, I am single, and ask me, uh, are you making money? Are you not making money? Or is it a long story? What you don't know is that already there's businesses that are making money for me when I'm not trading. And that's why I wait for long term. If I say I'm not making money, doesn't mean that I'm not holding anything long term. Yes, even those students pay for tutorials rather than only listen to the lecture. And you know why do I always, I, I have things that I put there as videos so that you can get what I'm trying to teach in the mentorship. When you come to class, I'm telling you there's things that you're going to learn beyond what you'll be taught inside of uh, the, the videos. And if there's one thing, if there's one thing that I'm going to actually be honest about, if it wasn't for me having to understand that in life one payment is not enough i wouldn't have been here today trying to explain to you guys that trading alone won't work <laughs> come to zimbabwe we'll marry you here <laughs> i'm coming blazely <laughs> yes dean what are you asking Truth be told, guys, truth be told, you can't survive only on mentorship money. Every opportunity you get to make money, look at if it's legit. If you are going to offer classes and you get students, make sure they are happy. Make sure when you say, I'm coming to class at 7, even if it's 10 past 7, you get to class. And when you get to class, you teach, guys. You do not even try to shorten the class and make it 30 minutes make it an, an hour and over so that they understand now when they start understanding it is up to them to apply the knowledge ah it's not coke guys <laughs> it's not coke i'm drinking this it's grape tizer it's grape tizer and then you know the negativity that's that's running through social media it has taught me to be strong actually there were gossip pages that were gossiping about me. Stacey is no longer making money. Stacey is doing... But what they didn't know is that I was on a trader's block kind of like situation. And that's why on the 1st of Jan, on the 1st of Jan, the first thing I did was place a trade and it went my direction. Why? Because I wasn't sitting only. In me healing in that process, I was also going back to the market teaching. And also I was taking trades. Me having to back test didn't just go as you know what eh, she's back testing nothing's going to happen after back testing things started it started it, they started to change and then i'm gonna find myself on youtube uh, talking about uh, making money about mentorship they'll be saying yeah so stacy is breaking on you guys on making money through mentorship but what you don't know is that i am teaching you that mentorship it's part of the reasons why i'm here Mentorship is part of the reasons why I'm here. Mentorship was part of the reasons why I thought of a business. Because I thought, if I leave mentorship, what is it that is going to make money for me? And then after making that, I thought, what is it that is going to make money for me? Guys, we need seven streams of income. Don't, don't end on three. And if there's not, if there's another thing that I do not want, I do not want to, people to suffer psychologically. That's why most of the teachings that we have are psychologically based. I know that I come online and talk about the market all the time, right? But what you need to know is that the market that we talk about all the time won't make sense up until you face reality. The reality is that 
even if you make money, right? Even if you make money, guys, even if you make millions in the market, as long as you do not have financial education, those millions will disappear within two weeks or three weeks. I know somebody who has made a whole lot of money, millions, but then within two to three weeks, those millions were gone. And it's not that we didn't advise them to take financial uh, tours here and there, invest there and there. You will tell them to do more. Tolles more had 20. I love, I love how Tolles more is thinking. Guys, in life, never settle for one payment. Settle for seven or more. You know, if you have seven, you have perfection. Then if more, is a bonus. So now, we're going to talk about making money in the mentorship, opening two businesses, and then bringing in Forex. Now you have four streams of income. If the one suffers, it doesn't affect your, your well-being. And when it doesn't affect your well-being, right, you'll find yourself trading good stuff because you wait for a trade to mature. The thing about people who are living on day-to-day -day trading, that they blow and then they come in uh, and complain and say, no, we are not making money. This is what's happening. It's because you're living on day-to-day -day trading. So it doesn't support you. Why? Anything that makes that... It feels like it's making sense to you you want to trade it but literally it's not making sense at that moment that trade is not matured for me not to trade to take trades that are not matured it's for me to wait for them to mature i can wait for like a month or two for the market to create something i'm going to hold for like guys i can hold it for three days but in that three days it will pay for those two months that i wasn't trading So, whether you pay for my mentorship, whether you don't, whether you go back doors and go learn at, at some place, there's things that you can't change about me, right? Which are the knowledge that I have. The knowledge that I have and the knowledge that I'm learning at the moment of becoming strong. And even if people attack you through social media, they say this about you, this about that, never mind them, right? Right? There's, there's, there's a song called People by this other woman. Do you know that people people don't care? Whether you do good, they'll be happy with you, but they're not happy. You do bad, they'll be happy you're doing bad, but they're not happy for you. Guys, you, you can do good for the rest of the year. Just one thing that trends about you that's bad, even though it's not true. People start believing that thing that is so bad. Why? Because you always do good. So I do not care whether people say, stay safe, what you need to know about is that in my falling, there's businesses that are meeting the standard that are supporting my lifestyle rather than me sitting and trading alone. Uh, we, 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 we can't be sitting here and saying, um, I'm trading, I'm a, I'm a forex trader, ne? and then two years to come, we, we disappear. And then even if you're not trading, you just disappear. Disappearing in that. Oh. Whether you do good, whether you do bad, people will talk. That's what I've learned. I've learned in my relationship that went viral and that didn't go viral at all. Oh, that's 100 is here. Mr. Let's all is here. Boop, 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 boop. But what I've learned, happy, happy, it is that go grow a thick, a thick skin. Why? Because you are making money. They are not. What they do is all day discuss your life. And then after discussing your life, they go back home and eat Bohobe Kamautwana. Whether you eat Bohobe Kamautwana wena. You will never discuss them. Why? Because you are focused on your goals and your dreams and everything. Just open businesses that are going to sustain you as a forex trader. Let that forex open bigger, bigger doors for you so that you can remain even if you're not trading. Make sound decisions when the market is not even giving you an entry anyway. You know you're not going to rush anything. Like I said, I do not trade events. You won't find me saying, no, I, I trade NFP. I do not. There's people who trade NFP and they are good at it. And they are good at it. 
so le let them trade it let them be very good at it but as for me uh, leave me alone i'll trade cpi there's people who will say but stacy you've been posting yes that was my time i posted that time right now it's not the time for me to post it's the time for me to leave it's the time for me to to get deals i've already made a name for myself in the forex industry i believe that there's other industries that i need to just make a name for myself not this one the industry requires a very thick skin people will always talk and you need to learn how not to let other people's opinion affect you as long as you know yourself and you will be fine hope i saw your message and from your message i'm saying i fell we blew more than seven hundred thousand it was more than a million but what i remember it's seven hundred thousand from my savings it was gone it was other monies from Babalo's savings it was other monies from um 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 innocent savings and you want to know what's what's bad about this we also borrowed money at the bank and we blew it all it was over a million and how we came back god knows all this thing of me pushing small accounts growing them too big they made me who i am today and after that situation i have learned in life that's why i'll tell you not to borrow money from the market to come trade why it will get you in so much trouble it'll get you in so much trouble and then there'll be people who'll be there going like so stacy has millions stacy has this me having millions or not having millions won't give you any money what you need to do is pick up what is it that i'm doing in trading that's actually going to make you a better trader and leave my life alone that's that's where you're going to make it in life the minute you forget about you know this one said this this one said that that's a way a, a step forward in you having to make a life for yourself but if you're still going to look at you know this one is doing this this one is doing that ah Mm -mm. Leave, leave, leave that one for for the content creators like i love radar that he is not he, he is not biased guys if there's something wrong about you he even addresses me when i'm doing something wrong he he can addresses he can address me publicly and he'll tell me that stacy this is not because i hate you it is because there's there's this and that and that you're doing I love you all. I love you all, guys. I, I feel like I've spoken. I've, I've, I've tried to get it out there. I've tried. And if there's those who heard me and those who didn't, I'll save this life. You listen to it at your own space, own time. I know it is also going to trend on the internet. There's people are going to say, we told you this. People are going to talk about me, but neither or less. we've made a point clear guys let let not the lifestyle that you're seeing online affect the the vision that you have because even now when i look back at the people whom i thought they're making it in life i found that ugh, i'm even doing better what they live on it's 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 quite sad and you find somebody yeah it's 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 quite sad it's quite sad hope i won't forget your name you're saying it for the second time thank you mrs shimon <sighs> yeah and it's still in the morning guys i'm feeling very hot even Don't you don't get don't get your your career ruined because there's people in the forex industry who have made it and then they're trying to tell you that it is possible. Yes, it is possible, but it is possible when you have a vision. A vision like when you are not trading, do you have money to sustain you? And when businesses don't go good, are you able to cash out? Guys, there's a lot, you know, in life, name. Yeah? I've realized that most of my things happened when I was a little bit older. 
because there's there's these young guys that are doing so much good in the in the trading industry right and then when i look at my success it didn't take time but i was old right and i'm 31 now everybody knows that i'm over 30 i'm 31 now um at my age i feel like i've i've ran my race i've proven myself to be good so there's nothing to prove anymore for me from me to you guys here on it's for me to trade make money quietly and give others a chance and actually root for other women who are trading and who are doing better vote for them encourage them if i have to if they come to me and they're like stacy i have a problem this is what i'm going through i just have to come in and say you know what i've went through it this is how i overcame not to suppress them down and talk about them guys there's a lot of people that i know secrets about but i still keep quiet why because they've trusted they've entrusted me with those secrets and with that being said i said to myself i can never talk about another trader bad because i'm also a trader but what i'm going to talk about is the psychology that will help another upcoming trader to become as good as they think they are i can never come to this and say yeah when i'm a man you did this what, what i like is that there's this woman called jane i think this is not the first time i mention her don't sleep on jane.02 or is it underscore zero two that woman knows how to trade that woman knows how to trade and what i love about her is that she's faceless i know how she looks like because i've seen her face before but she's face faceless online and doing very very good i also love sisanda sisanda is a very good trader and also let her with very good traders i haven't actually spoken to shante or had a conversation about trading and all of that but if she's doing good then i'll learn about her as time goes by because you know with women in trading we do not fight we do not fight. If 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 men are fighting in trading as women, I believe we shouldn't fight. And as one of the women who came out of the industry and actually boomed, I, I literally think you're sleeping on Sisanda. You're sleeping on Jane. They are doing pretty good. Mm, they are doing really good. So, um... Yo, don't talk. That shows move silently. <laughs> Let me keep quiet. Let me keep quiet. Move, move silently, guys. Even people, if they stop paying for mentorship, it won't affect me financially. It won't affect me financially if people stop paying for mentorship. If I stop teaching financially, it won't move me. Why? Because now I said to myself, since I'm used to money getting in, from uh mental mentorship then i need to make almost equivalent to what the mentorship is doing then if the mentorship doesn't pay i know there's money getting in and truth be told if you don't live like that ah ah and if there's one thing i'm gonna tell you about information of trading right it gets to be the same everywhere The, the information, it gets to be the same everywhere. It is how you apply it that gets to make you a different person. And with me, I'm done showing. I'm done, I'm done showing that uh, I could do it. I'm done showing that I wait for trades. I'm doing that with my students. But I'm done showing that um, I can trade. I can actually hold my own in this. I'll post whenever, once in a while. But what you need to know is that I'm done. I'm done with the industry. I'm just going to focus on the YouTube channel. Come online once in a while. Talk about those trades that uh, stresses me out. Those that make me actually happy. And then not post anything. Not post. I'll be one of those. Yo, Stacy was once good. But I still come online and make sense and then disappear for a while. Why? Because I'm going to focus on what other people are doing you know give give credit where it's needed criticize where it's needed and even even if i criticize you i'm gonna send you the video first and ask you how you feel about it if, if, if it's not good if you feel like there's places whereby i didn't address you right we change it we make it good we focus 
Hey, I've proven a lot, guys. In this life, I've proven. I, I even felt like I bought a car without even thinking because now I was trying to prove a point. I, I was trying to prove a point that I'm withdrawing money. I bought a car. I did this. I did that. But with that being said, it was it was that stage. It was that stage that I needed to prove, right? And after that, I told myself, never again. Never again. And if you feel like um, I'm lying about my things, it's fine. To you, let me lie. Let me lie. Discuss how I'm lying. Discuss how I'm lying. I don't care anymore. Put it out there. Make your name known because of me. You know, get famous because of me. Because you're Stacy. Get famous. But in in that being said you're gonna you're gonna get famous in my name and then people are gonna forget that you said that and then with me i'm just gonna come back and say hey, i'm stronger i'm stronger whether you talk about me when you don't i'm stronger why because i've learned that in the industry when i don't make money that's what makes money yes a lot of people told me i know you from 2020 <laughs> Yeah, you've told me actually. You know, after after I had forgotten about a lot of things that were happening on Instagram, I realized that a whole lot of things made me happy. I do not want to go to the mall and you find people not being able to say hi because they're afraid of me. I want people to come and say hi and we sit down and we're like, yeah, ne, yeah, we've had a rough, rough year. You know, I blew on this, I made money on this and then I donated. I, I want us to have those conversations when we meet. Not, not that when you see me like, yo, I'm afraid to say hi. What is she going to say? Even if I don't know you guys, I'm a very friendly person and shy. But I will say hi and we will talk and we will laugh, guys. You will love my smile even. But I'm done proving myself. I'm done trying to stay revel relevant and all of that. By far the realest female. Aww. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So um, can I just say uh, bye so that you guys can actually focus on NFP. I'm not going to trade NFP. I can't trade after NFP because that's when real movements are going to come out. The nicest ones. But with that being said, guys, um, I feel like I've said a lot, a mouthful. And for those who have listened, let it not fall on deaf ears. I pray, I pray that God may help you get that way out of what you're going through. This is a new year. We have put systems into place. Let them be. Follow every day. Uh, fall, stand up and follow. Blow. I fund again, follow your 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 um your analysis, follow your entries and then let things go. Thank you guys. I'll just I'll I'll save the life. I'll save the live and put it out there for those who want to watch it offline. I'll see you soon guys. Probably I'll come live maybe after a week or so. But <sighs> I wish you well. Hi, Milanzo. It's Milanzo. It's been a while since I've seen you.